Hello there, everybody. Welcome on back to more Ultra Modded Eden Streaks, baby. That's right. We're back. Glyph of Balance and Data Miner. Okay. <laughs> 18 rate of fire is is actually just like is horrible. T0 S1 31 Florida. A little 31 Florida. Um yeah, I mean this is this is terrible. I think that's the best way to word this. Um the three damage I suppose is is fine. It's not like detrimentally terrible to our life, but it's pretty bad. Um like our our damage output is just it's it's pitifully poor. Um so it's gonna be a run to start here, at least. That's a bad hit for sure. It's gonna be a run to start for sure. Uh we'll see if we can make uh, anything of value happen on this one to get ourselves to a two streak. You guys all mentioned um, that hey Tyler, this this looks hard, uh, and I think you're you're gonna be right. I'm not sure how many wins we're getting in a row, dude. Um, I could also pop data miner in this room and get like real real weird to start, but I think that I'll I'll maybe happily abstain for the time being, just for the sake of a uh, little bit of my own happiness. Linger bean. This is this is what we're doing, huh? We're we're doing glyph of balance, data miner, linger bean. <laughs> I feel like uh, there's a level of rudeness that comes with giving me such such garbage can tier items to start. I do like this uh, this this little dude that's firing for me in each room. I can get kind of amped about this guy. He's killing it. You know, enemies that come near him, they they ain't standing a chance. So I I do like that. Um, hey, I just want to say thanks for all the support on the first episode of the series. Uh, always exciting to, to post a, a new new series on, on YouTube and uh, see all of the the outpouring of support for it immediately. So, so big thank you. I also want to give a quick public service announcement. A lot of you asked, you know, Tyler, uh, can you po post the mod pack, right? Uh, the mod pack's in the description of the video. Um, I also have now updated the mod pack from what it was uh, even in the first episode and the reasoning for that. Can you come here, please, sir? No, like, I, I, I need you to come closer to me. I see you don't, hey, you don't <laughs> I'm so angry. Okay, uh, well, there's no, there's no secret room there then. I was pretty confident there would be. Um, the, the public service announcement is that the, the mod pack's updated. I was on the beta version of the Ipecac community mod in the last episode. Um, it is now the public, like, is out for you guys. Uh, so I had not added Ipecac Community Mod to the mod pack at the time. Uh, so it's now in there, which means that if you downloaded it beforehand, I don't think it it will auto-add it, right? I don't think that's how it works. So so go add it if you want Ipecac Community Mod, and I'm just going to tell you, you do. Because it's a great mod. Secret Room? Weird. Uh, it might have actually been up here, or it's co it's connected to the shop, maybe. I got no clue. I got no clue. Let, let's just go fight the boss. Um, we, we, like, desperately need a good tears up. Oh, and there's a tinted rock in this room, dude. We, we desperately need a tears up. Sadly, we're not going to get one. We're, we're going to get um, a, a measly garbage orbital, which is actually, I say measly garbage. That's actually pretty good, because we need... Um, we need a consistent damage dealer and a defensive based item in, in Cuba meat that allows us to hit enemies and deal damage to them. That's actually, there's some value there, I think. So overall, I'm pleased. You're not going to hear that often, especially because, I mean, this run is so terrible. <laughs> it's actually so terrible. I also, I'm gonna be the one to tell you, I have no freaking clue what Glyph of Balance does. I know it does like a, a bunch of little things, um, but I have no freaking clue what that item does. So I might look it up, um, or we're just gonna, gonna chill and, and not look it up, but I'm probably gonna look it up because if I miss something important with it, then you're gonna be even more mad at me than what you are already for for I don't even know why you'd be mad at me the video just started maybe you really hate um when I talk <laughs> which I'm with you I hate it too okay 
there's ball bandages totally fine um let's let's get a little wacky to start out let's go to our shop um you're hoping for like a nickel drop in here okay <laughs> yeah probably not huh let's look up glyph of balance just so everybody can understand uh what this item does okay unlocked with stuff um modifies drops from champion enemies wacky <laughs> okay um sure then then we we hope we fight some champion enemies Let, let's get it right we'll see what happens let's go down um we could have look we, we could have actually messed around in the self-sacrifice room was that going to give us uh, an edge on this run that we did not previously have I'm going to argue with you and say it probably wouldn't have, right? And I say that primarily because I didn't do it. Um, maybe if I, I did it and I got value out of it, I would be thinking differently right now, but I didn't even think to do that. I'm going to immediately use the bomb here. Uh, and immediately I would argue that this paid off uh, in, a, in a large way. We now have a decent sum of money. And we have Swallow Penny, which I think is, you know, even though it's not exactly what I would consider to be the greatest trinket in the game, um, it's not terrible. We did lose our Devil Deal chance. I didn't really expect to keep it, to be honest, because the, I mean, it's, it's a tough run and it's a tough mod and it's it's tough life, right? So I didn't really expect this um, to go absurdly well, and that's okay. It's okay, really. I'm not I'm not concerned, at least not yet. I'll, I'll tell you, once again, I'll always tell you if I am concerned when, when playing Isaac. Um, but I'm, I'm not at that point yet. And in a lot of ways, I think the more hurt we get, the happier our life might become. So here's an idea. Okay, so you cannot upgrade the ball of bandages. And I think that that's, that's fair. I see restock. And uh, I would be 100% lying if I said I didn't want that to be in my control by the end of this level. Um, that That's the kind of item, it's such a game changer. Also, if I do this, no, okay. I didn't know if there was maybe a chance that I could do some sneaky things and end up getting the consumables in this room by popping data miner. Um, I did end up getting a damage up out of data miner, I think. <laughs> Cause now I'm at, I'm at 4.7 damage. So I'm gonna consider that like a massive win in my book. Um, I think I, I maybe got a speed downgrade. I have no idea, I wasn't paying an ounce of attention. I was paying attention to the room. I'll just be blunt. So I have no idea if popping data miner there was valuable or not. But maybe, maybe we, we pop it again. I mean, are we willing to get very strange on this run and start popping data miner for, for our own possible maximum enjoyment? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. We're also looking for our item room that is hopefully going to contain not a garbage item for, for the run since we already have quite a few of those. We also have no modded items yet, but I mean, I can promise you that the game is quite modded at the current moment in time. Let's, um, let's pop, oh, Jesus. Okay, I got a shot speed up out of this and a range downgrade. And I also have no way to know how to kill these enemies. They're, oh my lord, man. They're, they're just so, they're so weird. It's such a disturbing, uh, vision that we have um now we did just get like a lot of bombs out of that so in my eyes win-win um tears up right no lsd <laughs> okay yeah makes total sense um we'll snag this is a heart and a bomb pop data miner again it's a speed upgrade it's a luck downgrade i don't know dude it's it's one of those uh it's one of those items where you can get burned insanely easily, but if we're already burned, then what does it matter, right? Like, our, our run is garbage, so we might as well just keep on getting weird <laughs> until it eventually it, it just, we die. Maybe, or maybe we don't, and maybe the move is to actually um, be a, a wee bit... Okay, the LSD, dude, it can wear off any day of the week, and I would be extremely pleased. 
Um, so there's our 15 cents. And we're getting bombs back for days. Consumables are actually looking very good. Let's grab this Tinted Rock, which gives us another Soul Heart. And then we'll snag Restock, which is going to give us... Um, that's an IOU. What is the IOU? Allows you to take loans on shops or devil deals. Okay. So can I, like... Could I just buy Charge Baby? I'm not going to do that, because I, I actually think it's bad. Can't be dropped while in debt. I can. Okay. <laughs> but I have Restock. Okay, okay. I understand. I understand. Okay. So I'm in debt a certain amount of money. And I will be in debt until I can pay it off, right? And I can't drop this until I uh until I pay off the debt. It's an interesting item, dude. Um I'm I'm kind of intrigued by it. I thought I was about to just break the game by having IOU work indefinitely. Um, but I suppose that that would be actually just so extremely overpowered. Um, yeah, dude, and we are we're so in debt that when we pick up money, it's it's not actually doing anything. Now I I, I took charge, baby, right? I'm not gonna lie, I don't really want charge, baby. Um, I took it to demonstrate how the item works. I, I probably should have done it with the devil deal. That would have been more intelligent. How about a, a little secret room? Okay. Cool. Little button action. Feels great. I, I really love when the button provides no value. Um, what, what's going on with you? <laughs> okay. We leave. We leave. Uh, and we get this. Uh, we get this fun, fun show on the road as we go. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Uh, it's a fine day for me. It's, it's been a been a long week dude it's been a long month and long year so far in 2021 um i've been i've been trying to i, I know i've been talking about my about my apartment and setting up my my apartment to be livable um the latest in the apartment saga is that i i have tried to install my internet which is very very high speed it's like a thousand down internet uh because i figured I'm just gonna go with the highest available package and, and pay out my ass for it. Um, so I'm I'm paying a disturbing amount for this internet. It's the self-install kit uh, that they mailed to. Oh, thank God, it tears up. Uh, that they mailed to my apartment. So I, I picked it up. Um, I self-installed everything, uh, and it just it won't actually give me internet. <laughs> so I've like called the company. I've been like, I don't have internet. I've, I've talked to my apartment. They're like. We don't think that that thing works to install your internet, but like I have, I have proof that it works because of, of somebody else living in the apartment um, that has the same exact thing that I did, um, which is why I knew what to do. So it's it's all wacky. Um, it's just another wrinkle, right? Everything is just another small wrinkle uh, in the in the plans of life, and that's okay, dude. That's okay. It, once you come to terms with the fact that uh, nothing is perfect, everything is miserable, and uh, in the end, you just die, uh, the sooner that you can move on with your life. What are you doing? You've got little tiny, tiny shroom dudes that you're, you're pumping out. Okay. And they shoot little tiny bullets at me. Okay, I hate them. <laughs> I hate them a lot. That's fine. Um, ringworm. I can't take it because I'm in debt. That is correct. This is true. This is very, very true. I am no longer in debt, thus I can pick up Ringworm. Okay. Um, dude, I think IOU friggin' rocks. I'm just gonna be the one to tell you. Because it's basically like, it's a bailout plan. <laughs> it, it is a COVID stimulus check, is what it is. But not for the people, but for a big business that doesn't actually need the money. That's, that's what IOU is. It's crazy. Is This is so good. I, I'm extremely pleased uh, with this trinket, and I, I intend on, on breaking something with it. Uh, it might be my own brain in the end, but it, something will be broken, and it's going to be uh, a grand old time, let me tell you. The grandest old time you've ever seen. I do want to uh, inform you about my latest media intake, as I like to do from time to time. Um, I have been watching... Disney Plus's The Mandalorian with my girlfriend. Um, for those that don't know what The Mandalorian is, 
It's the the latest and greatest in the the Star Wars franchise, where it features the um, the Mandalorian, the Mister Mister Mandalorian, is his full name. In case you did not know, um, it features Mister Mandalorian, who is okay. Can we maybe like stop with this drop spiders into the room thing? I mean, that's gonna get old like very quick. Okay, let's buy this. Okay, now I have no idea what happens if I smelt the IOU. I would assume nothing, right? So let's do it. I can't smelt IOU. Phenomenal. <laughs> and now I just have smelter um, that I cannot actually do anything with because I can't smelt IOU. Fair enough. You know what, game? You got me. You're, you're out here, I'm trying to break you, and you you basically just slapped me on the wrist and said, uh, you will not. Dude, where's the modded items, though? The modded items are non-existent. Thank God we got the modded enemies, but it's a, a very standard, terrible Afterbirth Plus run right now. Which means that it will inevitably uh, ramp up here in a little bit, and then we're going to not know... Uh, what to even think about life and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. But anyway, um, the Mandalorian features Mr. Mr. Mandalorian who is a, a species of the Mandalorian except he isn't but I mean that's a spoiler alert, right? Um, Cuz he's he's actually this like little refugee guy uh, Who his parents were killed and then the Mandalorians who are the the residents of the the hit city uh, new Mandalore which is located probably on Tatooine, if I know anything about the Star Wars franchise. Um, he, he becomes a Mandalorian because they saved him, and they're like, oh, hey, since uh, we're a cult, you have to be us now. So then he becomes a Mandalorian, and their big thing is that they they wear this, this funky suit uh, made out of a metal called Beskar. Um, one could probably associate it with the likes of, I don't know, like Platinum, maybe? Uh, it's very shiny, right? But it's also very durable, so the, the stormtroopers, when they uh, miss all of their shots, if they happen to miss so badly that it ricochets, hits a wall, and then comes back and hits the Mandalorian, um, he he doesn't take any damage from it because the, the Beskar is so strong. Uh, and he basically, like, he's got a weird sexual fetish with this Beskar. Um, the dude will, he will do anything for Beskar. <laughs> And I, and I mean anything. Um, so, you know, this story basically is his adventuring as a bounty hunter through the Star Wars galaxy uh, until eventually he meets uh, a, a green gremlin that he is supposed to kill um, in a mission, a bounty. Uh, and instead, he decides that uh, instead of being a Mandalorian bounty hunter, he would rather take up uh, a new role in his life as the father uh, of a child. And then it just so happens that that child also is like very force sensitive, which means that um, he is akin to believing in a weird um, mystical mystical uh, power in the Star Wars universe that allows you to choke people. It's it's a strange it's a strange story to be fair, um, and to be fair, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but um, it's look, I'm not a huge fan of Star Wars. I. The first, you know, six, nine movies, the first three movies, right, the ones that came out in the 70s, they're fine, right? They're fine. I'm not going to say that they're they're good or bad. You know, they were made in the 70s. Are, do they have some good actors? Yeah, Mark Hamill, uh, he's, he's pretty okay. Carrie Fisher, she was fine. Harrison Ford, um, would I argue that Han Solo is his best role? No, I would probably argue that um, his best role was as Indiana Jones in, in the hit TV franchise and movie franchise Indiana Jones. Um, but, you know, doesn't mean that it's bad. Just because they have a bunch of good actors, it's, it, it becomes an enjoyable piece of media. Where it does get um, a bit more frustrating, Let, let's actually, let's take a peek down here. Just, just a small peek. I am going to get a little wacky by bombing this donation machine a slew of times and then IOUing backpack. Oh crap. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm very sorry. 
for what I'm going to do to my donation machine here. Because you are correct, I am now going to IOU Steam Sale as well. Which this could give very dangerous kids. Um, let this be a lesson in loans where you should not do whatever the hell I'm doing right now. Now whatever pumpkin faces, I'm not concerned about it. It probably turns my bombs into jack-o'-lanterns if I know uh, absolutely anything about the Binding of Isaac. But this basically now allows us to hold the smelter while we still have passive flight, right? Um, so I'm I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Let's let's leave. Let's leave. But yeah. Um. Anyway, the first three Star Wars, they're fine. The the next three, which are actually like the first three, because for some reason in the 70s they were like, you know what's gonna really get people turned on to the series? What if we jump to just the middle of the story, right? So in the 70s they made episode four, five, and six, and then like 30 years later they were like, okay, now's the time. This is when we dump out episode one, two, three. And here's the thing about episode one, two, three. They're freaking horrible. Like, they're actually some of the worst pieces of, of cinematography ever created um, on planet Earth. So, and, and you might disagree, but they're bad. So, uh, your opinion kind of does not matter at that point to me. It start, it, look, the third one. The third one. Oh, what the frick? <laughs> you know what? I'm bombing that. That's that's sketchy okay well it's nothing but it was it was sketchy and i wanted to bomb it um the third movie which is um rise of the jedi return of the jedi rise of of skywalker anakin goes bad he kills children it's something like that well i don't know what the hell that movie the last jedi i think no that's not it either that's the ninth movie i look like i said i'm not a huge star wars fan so this is uh a little bit irrelevant. Dude, this little face, I'm gonna see this in my nightmares tonight. Please stop this. <laughs> Please stop this and let me let me live my damn life without that little uwu face following me in a pile of yellowy orange poop. Delicious, right? Very delicious. Please don't. Okay. Um yeah, first three movies, horrible, and then the the final three movies, which have now come out in the, the 2010s, um, I haven't seen them, right? So I can't really say anything about them, but from, you know, doing a quick Google search on, on IMDb for, you know, final three Star Wars movies, it's mainly just, like, a lot of angry fans that don't like them. So I'm going to tell you, I probably would not like them either, um, because I, I am a little bit picky about movies, I suppose. But... Um, when The Mandalorian came out, like, there were a lot of people that said, you know, it's, it's actually pretty freaking good, and, you know, Jon Favreau directs it, and, and he's pretty cool, so what if you just give Mandalorian a try? So, so Anna and I decided, yeah, you know what, let's, let's give Mandalorian a try, and it's really good, dude, it's really good. I love, um, like, kind of the, the sci-fi space travel style, that's just so lucky. <laughs> It's so lucky. Um, even though that, like, literally just affected us in no way, shape, or form, except for giving us a range downgrade. So what the heck's that all about? That feels like a little bit of a, a trash deal. I pick up an item that, uh... That is supposed to do good things, and instead it just said, what if, uh, what if you lose your range? Especially since... Is it, is it not a range upgrade? Okay, now I'm just... I think I'm even more irritated now. But anyway, the Mandalorian has got like all of the sci-fi character of Star Wars, but like it actually has a plot line. And the episodes are they're like the perfect length, they're high action, they're they're you, they keep you engaged. There's, you know, the character, the Mandalorian himself, he's a little sassy, right? So that's enjoyable. You have the cuteness of the the Baby Gremlin, also known as uh, the child, also known as Baby Yoda, if you're, you know, familiar with basic Star Wars terms and understand that the Mandalorian exists, but you haven't actually looked into anything about it. Um, it's it's fine, dude. It's, it's a genuinely good show. We, we finished the first season of it. Um, we're now watching the second season of it. The, the second season is, is a lot more, like, deep Star Wars lore which means understanding things that I uh, genuinely, oh, what is this? Uh, it means understanding things that I, I did not know 
before. Which is fine, because it's, like I said, I don't mind the the idea of Star Wars. I just feel like the execution of it has always been freaking horrendous. So, to have a little bit of the deep lore that I gotta go to the, the Star Wars Wikipedia to look up, um, I'm, I'm all in on that. Plus one heart container, plus 0.5 damage. Feels like a, a Pishy Keen item. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Except, uh, except for Mondays, normally. And also, I didn't upload a video the other day. Look, it, I'll be here most of the week. It'll be fine. This would have been a great time for Small Rock. Any time is really a great time for Small Rock. Uh, cool sunglasses. 13 coins. <laughs> Walking near coins grants a speed up. I see. Um, collecting coins damages all enemies in the room, and upon entering an occupied room, three cents are taken from you and strewn across the room. This sounds like the kind of stupid item that would give me a lot of joy in my life. So I'm going to absolutely dump energy into taking it. I also see some options. 20% of item pickup spawn alongside a wooden pickup. Okay, um, well look, let's start with this. So the IOU ends up giving us back stuff. Then I'll, I'll take some options, why not? And I think I would like socks. I also think I'm alone now. Um, I think I would like socks, but we also have flight, so kind of who cares, is my opinion there. Do I have anything else I want to do on this floor? I don't think so. I think I just want to get the heck out of here. But dude, between... Between freaking the Mandalorian and then now, um, my family and I have started watching the, the new Marvel Phase 4 TV show WandaVision. Disney has basically uh, gone and consumed 90% of my uh, media intake, which is uh, terrifying to say the least. But um, look, if the shows are good and the iron's hot, then I'm not upset about it, right? And, and they're good. They're good. Um, WandaVision, I mean, there's a lot to discuss with that one. I, I feel like most people on planet Earth, oh yeah, that's right, picking up coins damages all enemies in the room. And then walking near them gives me a speed up. It's such a, such a strange... <laughs> it's like I have to do a, a scavenger hunt to kill the enemies, which I'm surprisingly okay with now that I say that out loud. Okay, get get destroyed, kid. Get wrecked. You're you're bad. You're you're doo doo, and you don't know how to how to move properly. You garbage can. Okay, I'm also not paying attention to my my item pickups. I also that's a tinted rock. I can see that one. I was gonna say I I can't. Oh God, it was a super tinted rock. I was gonna say I can't see any of this crap, but apparently I can see the. The best of the best when it comes to these. So, screw me, I suppose. Um, these guys are... He's, like, extremely sucky. Like, his sucky factor is beyond all other sucky factors I've ever been a part of. Um, let's not die to that. <laughs> I almost just slammed right in. I expected my tears to do, like, a little bit more knockback on those bombs, but... Apparently, uh... Apparently they weren't they weren't necessarily feeling it, so that's fine. But one division it's it's now the the fourth phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and it, it starts off with uh, Wanda Maximoff, also known as Scarlet Witch, also known as Elizabeth Olsen. Is that her name? Um, and it's it's literally like the show is taking place in a like early fifties sitcom or early 60s, depending. But it's it really looks more like the 50s. What's going on here? Why, why are you trying to give me nightmares? You got... You want to fight? Okay. Um, but there's a lot of, like, little hidden Marvel references in the show. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a sitcom comedy, so there's, like, a laugh track, and, which is terrifying, but the show has this, like very dark vibe with it and apparently it like turns into a, a true marvel um you know marvel action style that you would expect from from marvel uh, eventually but it's also just like oh crap dude that's not duality 
I just took an item. I have no idea what it does. So that's frightening. Um, and then what the heck's going on in here? Why the hell is Tammy's head in my angel room? Enemies have a chance of being imprisoned. <laughs> but the imprisoned enemies will do the angelic prism effect. I'm so down, dude. That sounds brilliant. Oh my god, and he has it. He's got the effect. Look at this. Okay, this is going to be extraordinarily fun. Um, to always have this in some rooms. He says always and then adds some to it. Okay. I'm I'm liking this. I'm liking this. You can see he has a, a prism on him. What a wacky item. I love it. I think it's like actually bad, I think. Maybe? Is it bad? Maybe it's not bad, dude. Maybe it's actually great. I'm gonna go to her shop. I still don't think this run is very good. Um, so I want to kinda take all of the precautions that one human being would normally take. Keep in mind we still have an IOU as well. Which if this was the Hermitcraft server, I'm telling you, it would be a lot more valuable, but instead it's it's not. Can I take your heart? I, I can take the heart, and I think that I'm okay with taking the heart there. Get myself back up to full, ensure that we do not uh, end up in a... I hate him, dude. I hate him. I really do not like them. They are... they're horrible. Wow. I accidentally used two keys there. I have 15 keys. Who cares? Who cares? Um, but no, it's, it's Wanda Maximoff, but also Vision in the show um and, but let me i'm gonna give you an infinity war spoiler okay so if you do not want a spoiler for the movie infinity war come back in like 30 seconds okay just mute the video come back in 30 seconds ready three two one so like vision dies in infinity war because the big purple dude mr mr thanos um, he rips the Mind Stone out of his skull, and he dies. <laughs> so, oh crap, dude. This is the item. This is the break right here. This is the break. So, it's it's kind of wacky that he's in this show, right? It's wacky he's in the show. Half heart damage is now taken at three hearts or below. That's a great item, dude. That's, like, genuinely a great item. Teleports all chests closer to you. Um, I don't care about that. Do I care about all in? I mean, all in is not bad. My luck would be through the freaking roof, dude. Okay, come come back in a bit. We still have IOU. Keep that in mind. I'm I'm ready to dump a lot of effort into uh, the shop on this floor. I I think we could we could make something special happen here. Sure, I'll do it. I'm a little upset because you did not. I was about to say you're not giving me any money. Um, look, the red chest probably ain't gonna give you much money anyway, Tyler. Amnesia is terrible, but that's okay. Um, addicted is like it's astronomically bad, but luckily uh, I'm so damn good at the game that things like that don't actually matter to me. Um, where am I getting more money from? I kind of want all in. Our, our luck would be so high if we got all in. Because it's already at 3, right? So a one point, oh, you get a 1 plus luck, then a 1.5 times multiplier on it. Thank you for the money. You're a sweet, sweet individual. Um, keep in mind that the money that we're getting on the ground here is not new money. It's, it's old, less fresh money. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, that's very good, but we have to also be careful here. So I am going to, okay. Oh, this is fantastic, dude. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. You take the damage, you end up getting a, a slew of money out of this. I'm gonna take the pill, it's, am it's amnesia, okay, it's fine. We come in here, that's fine. Now, now, now you come down here and you go yoink. Of diamonds. And then you go yoink. Now you got poker chip. Keep IOU for now. Sure, give me the cactus. It's weird, it's fun, I'm with it. Give me Cyber Bum, who turns batteries into things. Give me mom's coin purse, that's fine. I won't complain. 
Okay, the ladder is legitimately worthless. Um, Cyber Bum, you can go crazy, dude. LSD, I have no interest in popping. It's another luck up. I got nine and a half luck. Okay. Then we get this. Allows you to choose between two bosses to fight. I'm intrigued. Um, and then, by the way, the game is not broken, but I can reroll. And then it is broken. And then, like, we also have a card against humanity, so it's broken. There's no doubt about that in my mind, that the game is broken. Um, you pick up this for the bombs. Oh, chest magnet is an active item. That's weird. I don't like that. Um, let's keep re-rolling. Uh, black candle is beautiful. Modeling clay on use makes a copy of the closest passive item. Okay. We have to take stopwatch then. And then... I'm gonna hit the... Oh, it, it, no, it, it keeps it because it's, it's an item. That makes sense. We didn't need two of two of the the thing. The scratch card we can we can pop right. Yoink is bad. Okay. Um, those are all bad too. So let's. We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna see if we want to do this right. So two of this. I don't think is the answer. And then what is what is this whack job crap? Feels like I'm. I don't know. False sunshine. idol. Grants plus 10.9 luck for the current room. And incurs a visit by the idol. It's so weird, dude. <laughs> I just don't like it at all. Um, okay, then you're going to take modeling clay. Because the item will not be used. Right? And then it regenerates on the next floor. It's an active item. Okay, that's also fine. No, that's not fine. No, it is fine. I have no idea how this works. And that's that's okay. Uh, now we're going to... Are we... We're only on the depths one, so this is fine. Now we do this. Okay. Um, and we do... I'm, I'm gonna leave for a second. I think we officially get rid of IOU because we need the Cancer Trinket. Can cancer Trinket does a lot for us. But this is where we now stack, like, all of the money in the universe. You, you hope to get petrified poop, like, immediately. Because then the next floor, we break the shop again. And then this should allow us... Also, I have the HUD turned on on the side. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know how it took me this long to realize that. Um, now it's nice and clean and orderly and looks great. Um, I'm not going to move slow. And by not going to move slow, I mean I'm not going to move fast. I will move as slow as I, I humanly well please. I do want to have a, a peek at the time on the video. We're 38 minutes in. Um, <laughs> look. We're 38 minutes in and this man's harvesting poop. Yeah, what do you take me for? Huh? You think I'm, I'm some kind of... Some kind of poop man, huh? Poop man chew? Okay, let's... Let's throw, like, a bomb down there. Nice. We have so many bombs that I don't feel bad about using them in obscure locations to maximize our potential as a game player and successful individual. I just... Our rate of fire is so bad, dude. It's unreal. Can you help me in here somehow? What is this? Tear detonator. So if, if I do like, yeah, this is fine. It doesn't recharge. It's not fine. I, I would just like, I just, it's so boring. It's so boring to do this. Let's just uh, take, take, uh, take this back. And then the moon does not help me. And the fool does not help me. Um, Okay, uh, back on the grind we go. Back on the grind we go. Just just trying to get a little bit of money. I mean, the fact that Petrified Poop is is not showing up is mildly disappointing to me. Um, only, only a small degree, but it's fine. Also, we have Mom's Purse, which means that I could take IOU 
with me to the next floor. Um, but I'm I'm kind of I don't know, dude. I, I don't think I necessarily care. Right? Do I care? Because, really, we need... So, it's going to be a 7 cent item, then a 6 cent, 5 cent, 3 cent, or 4 cent, 3 cent, 2 cent. So, I need, I need 7 factorial, um, except factorial... No, fact, is factorial adding together? Dude, this is really bad that I've lost, like, 90% of my mathematical knowledge over the past couple years. Um, so, 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. 18 plus 4 is 22. 22 plus 3 is 25 plus another three is 27. So theoretically, I've already broken the game, um, but I'm also five poops away from completing this, so uh, I did my due diligence. Let's let's get the heck out of here, dude. We have been on this floor for like 15 minutes, uh, and I'm not upset about this. I think we did all of the right things. I really think we did. And if you disagree, uh, frig you, because my run is now significantly better and more fun than where it was uh, mere moments ago. So I'm hyped. Let's go down. Dude, I swear to God, I've got like arthritis in my hand or something. Um, lately, my left hand, which is obviously my, my WASDing hand, has just felt like hell <laughs> when I use it. Um, so that's good. That's good that I'm officially old as hell um, at my young age of 42. Okay. I now have all of the money in the universe. I did not need to grab this much money, but money is also tears ups for us. So, like, actually, we should try to collect as much money as possible. Keep on forgetting that. And it's not even that money is tears ups. Money is tear delayed downs, which is even, like, way freaking better than uh, money is a, a tears up. So let's, uh, let's be thankful for what we got here. Sure, algas? Um, look, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I got no interest in using that for anything other than to get the heck out of here. Why did I get, like, a all stats up by leaving that room? <laughs> There's so many modded interactions, dude, that I just have absolutely no idea what the heck is going on. And that's fine. Increases tier size and height. I have no interest in our uh all in chip if it means that my tiers can be larger i'm i'm very pro big ass tiers in every stretch of the word what you guys split into weird like boomerang shots i don't like that i don't like that at all okay let's let, let's find our shop also, don't I get a choice of boss fights now? I'm very intrigued to see how that plays out. Um, because we are obviously, like, fighting mom here. I also should probably go into the, the boss trap room. Let's do that, too. Oh, what are you? There's, like, an invincible grave right here. Okay. He's a little wacky. There's a couple of graves here. Do I like this guy? I don't think so. I think he's very bad. Or who are you, bad boy? You're you're a little weird. Do I gotta kill the rest of the room and then you go back to, to hell? Yeah, okay. Unidentified pill. Yoink. Uh, it's fine as long as you give me something. You did a not is room. What is this? Spawn a sewing machine. That's great. Okay. Um, so. Five cents. I don't have any familiars that I can upgrade. You put a mimic right there. You're a coward. <laughs> it's been a while since I've run into a mimic. So, oh, I can't bomb in there. Okay. That's fine. I won't then. Whatever. You think you can uh, stop me? You will not stop me. I will get into that damn room. If it's the last damn thing I do on this run. Because it probably would be the last thing I do before I die. Okay. High Priestess. Using that on mom is our inevitable death. Uh, and then get ready to break the freaking game, dude. Get ready to break it. It's going down. It's going down. Okay. So first things first, we got to get rid of these suckers. I, I just don't want to deal with them. Um, so good, good night. And we come over here. It's burnt dollar. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
So what is this? Medical bill, refill all of my HP, remove all of my coins. Why are you like this? And give me the max IOU. What the hell's your problem? <laughs> I can't do that. You gave me a trash shop, game. I'm upset. I'm upset. Both of these items are, are so terrible. They're so terrible for me. Because they, they remove my money and then, well, like, we also don't get any other items in return. So here's my new plan, right? What is this tinfoil hat? <laughs> Did I just pick up the QAnon hat? Okay. What, what do you do? 50% chance to get plus one coin. Okay. When you pick up a coin. I, I got no issues with that. I also have no interest in that, so... Take it as you will. Um, weird shop. Let's let's get some some stats, dude. Plus one shot speed. Okay. And then what else you got for me? Is oh crap. Plus one luck grants a chance to fire a, a tear that turns poop into poop in the in the poop. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. What is my current like mission here? It's for the D6 to be in this item room. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it ain't the D6. So now my mission is, if I may accept it, is to uh, get a earth row rune from the middle of nowhere. I just want to re-roll this garbage in the shop. Because I, it is literally garbage. I will take burnt dollar at the end of the floor um, if we don't find a better solution to this issue. But I don't think there's a better solution like I, I think it's all terrible okay spawns a blue spider when picking up a coin that's a bomb i was trying to figure out what the hell that was it, it was a bomb the entire time uh death the fool yeah i'll take the bomb that's fine um i don't see any tinted rock potential and then, like, this is mom. I, it, it's just, it's just, like, a, a, a little disappointed. There's, like, a tiny bit. Also, mom has the mark. She's got the mark. She's got the mark. She got the mark. What can I do to make a mama go a boom? When everything I'll ever do, I do it for you. And I go, na 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 she got the mark. Okay. The fool. So, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna do this one final room. I'm not expecting anything from this. And rightfully so, as there was nothing here. Um, but ready? Per throw rune. <gasps> oh, <laughs> dude. Almost. Almost. I was almost very excited. That would have been sick. Uh, okay, and I can't pick that up, apparently. And also, we still have this sucker. But we are about to give 79 coins. Now, okay, here's the other problem, though. If I give 79 coins, I'm also now in a position... Okay, you can have those, sir. Give me a key out of it. Sure. Walking on sunshine, are you a wizard? So, like, those are all terrible. Um... I, I'm, lo I'm looking at modeling clay now, right? So, like, if I use modeling clay on this item. So, that spawned all this crap. Because it used burnt dollar. So, like, now I open all this. And I, I get a bunch more money. <laughs> and then now that I, I have all the money. It's a choker card. I mean, that's very good. Um, now that I have all this money, I open this, right? Oh my lord, and I get even more money. Okay. And then now that I have all this money, I take burnt dollar again. And now I get more stuff. <laughs> and then we take burnt dollar again. No, that's not part of the plan. Um, let's take this. And then, like, obviously I'm in a joker. Joker? I barely know her. We joker? It's an angel deal. And we got Lent. Picking up no hearts on a floor will grant full health and plus 0.1 damage at the start of the floor. Um, I will forget about this, almost certainly. But maybe if I just have full HP and then don't get hit, I'll never notice. 
but I suppose we'll, we'll do our best to not pick up hearts on a floor. Now, I'm not going to pick up hearts now, and maybe it'll still work. That's a weird item to get from this, but that's fine. Um, I just picked up a heart. Okay. I also, modeling clay is still friggin' strange. I don't know, dude. There's a lot of weird on this run. There's a lot of weird. Um, I think you just leave, right? I think you just leave. I'm not going to get the Lent bonus on this floor because clearly I've picked up hearts like all the time. Um, so I will pop this. Speed. Sure. Down. Doesn't even affect me. Uh, and then I'll leave. And then I'll leave. There's still a moon card on that floor, I believe. Uh, but I don't really care. And then I have a general idea of where I need to go on this floor. Uh, so I'll, I'll just beeline it that way. Don't pick up hearts. Whatever you do, do not pick up hearts. If you don't pick up hearts, everything will be peachy keen. You'll get some some damage out of it, which I'm going to tell you, we, we do still need. <laughs> like, our, our, our damage is not that good. I know we have a lot of items, but our damage itself is kind of garbage. Like, at least a, a, a tiny amount garbage. When did I... I thought I got rid of my poker chip. Did I not... Maybe I didn't. That's fine. Poker poker chip, it'll it'll be fine. It's not hurting anybody. We'll, we'll stick with it. That's a tinted rock, like a, a thousand percent. <gasps> nope, I will not. I will not. You will not do my heart, sir. You will not. Uh, I want to keep collecting money though. Uh, reason being, we want to get, oh, hello, little weird shop. Spinning wheel after sh it's the wheel of Isaac after shooting for a while you gain times 0.2 fire delay and tears start coming 30 degrees rotated from the previous position. Um, I would be crazy to not take this. What a weird item. And we go. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, this is this is almost exactly what I wanted. So now we're at one rate of fire, and we are we are legitimately Bozo's Pinwheel of Torture. And it's another IOU. The, the dream has become the reality. I am the Pinwheel of Torture. So in case you were at all curious about where uh, this run sat, I think that what I'm doing right now is about all you needed to see. Um, it's, it's a brilliant, brilliant situation for us to be in. Um, I will just repeatedly hold down. Oh no! I will. I will absolutely not fight the friggin' matriarch, you absolute buffoon. This is the greatest item of all time, dude. It allows me to not fight the matriarch. I've I've never ever been as pleased as what I am in the current moment. Oh my lord, dude! I am a I am a menace. I am an absolute menace. Okay, we pop. We pop. They're all trash. I'll, I'll take Seraphim, obviously. This was not trash. This was fine. Do not pick up hearts. I refuse. Do not pick them up. And then give me... I was gonna say give me an item. Apparently Abel qualifies. Um, I don't want that, so we leave. And then theoretically, I get full health and plus 0.5 damage. And would you look at that? That's exactly what occurred. So they... they did not lie. Not that I expected them to, as the mod devs are very kind people. But I'm just gonna real quick, yeah. So it, they say after a short while, what they mean is like four seconds after you start firing, you, you go down to one rate of fire and start shooting every shot that you could ever shoot. It's just so satisfying and fun. How, how could you ever be upset when you're when you're spewing out a, a journey's worth of, of tears from you in a spiral fashion. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's so good. It's actually so good. I'm also not picking up all of the money in these rooms, so I'm actually like technically losing money as I play. Which is funny because uh, I'm bad. That's, that's the funny part. Um, so this is not ceremonial robes. This is... Permanent Curse of Lost and Darkness, but doubles my damage. But I have Black Candle. 
so that still affects me. <laughs> oh no, and now you guys have to deal with a dark video, but I have 12 damage, so it's, it's kind of, it's kind of bad, I, I get it, it's kind of bad, but also like, I don't know, suck it up, it'll be fine. I wanted to upgrade my boy. It's it's able. He's a damage up. Let's let's do it. I I no wait. I bomb this. I I can't afford it. I don't have five cents. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. There's there's some money. Oh, we upgraded our leech. That's also great news. I have no idea what's going on, in case that was not abundantly clear. Uh, I'm, at this point, we're, I'm kind of here for the memes, and seeing where life takes me. And I'm all out of see where my life takes me. Okay, so well, that's another sewing machine. I also don't believe I've picked up a heart, so we are, are still in the camp of getting some wacky... Dude, it's, it's just like... There's, there's a lot going on in the screen, and I'm just, like, holding the shoot button. Because it's just it's just easier to hold the shoot button. Because then the enemies just go they just go boom shortly after. So, it's fine. We'll, we'll fight. It lives. Uh, <laughs> I will switch. And now I'm fighting Mom's Heart. Which I have not fought in, actually, like, probably two years. That's not true. I fought it in anti birth But... Unique situation, to say the least. Um, I had no idea that was even a possibility. Um, I'm going to leave the floor now, thanks. And we are going to go up to La Cathedral, um, where I do have permanent Curse of Darkness. That, that still makes logical sense, yes. Um, but on the flip side, I have double damage. As long as you keep on reminding yourself that you have double damage, the, the Curse of Darkness for like three floors, y'all can suck it up, okay? I, I know that it's hard to see. It's hard for me to see too. I could crank the gamma to a disturbing degree in the video, um, but I think that's going to make it like significantly worse. Here's another damage up. Um, I think it'll make it significantly worse, so just suck it up. L listen to my sundry sound of my voice um, and suck it up. Hello, sir. You will die. Dude, we are... We are strong. We are very strong. I will not pop the Hierophant. No, you know what? I'm gonna carry the Hierophant. Because I don't want hearts. Because I want the damage up. But I also... Don't want to freaking die. That's the big difference. Keep in mind that the chest is also, like, god-awful on the next floor. It's so hard. Um, so... We have to be a little bit in control when we get to that floor. Now, obviously, we're going to get four items when we go there, which will be great. I'm very excited to have those. Uh, Max's paw is hearts to damage. So, big yikes, dude. I'm going to kind of crank on that. And uh, apologies in advance that I have made the decision that I have. But I, uh, I like damage. <laughs> I like damage, and now we have no health. I'm, I'm, it's, it's a little spicy. I mean, like, a, a mild, mild degree. It's not that crazy. 48 hour energy. What, he drops a bomb. Dude, that bum is, he's pretty useless. I'm gonna tell you. He's pretty useless. And it's fine. Like, I, I didn't really bring him on to do anything crazy, but he is a high degree of useless. Okay. Temperance, there is a heart there. Do not pick it up. You pick up that heart and you make a liar out of all of us. Um, foiled Lovers spawns three hearts of any type. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. I'll tell you, we'll see if maybe we get a, a three soul heart drop. I don't know, they, why would you go for three soul hearts when you could just have a guaranteed two? I think I stick with what I I had. I think I go get the, the Pyro Man. I did manage to get hit there, which I am disappointed in. 
So at this point, I mean, look, we... No, because we don't... We, we want the damage up still. So you, you, you take this, you go to the chest, adios, good night, um, and then we come down. Thank you for my plus 0.5 damage up. We also can fight Mega Satan, I forgot about that as well. Um, piercing shots is weird. Um, I'll bomb this. I mean, scatter bombs is also like kind of fine, I guess. Book of the Dead is largely irrelevant to me, but so is modeling clay, right? Modeling clay is not really that good. And these rooms are, are horrible, so we have to really... Yeah. I'll modeling clay that for the damage. Now we got 17.5 damage. And now we also have Greed's Gullet, which is going to give us more health. I don't know, dude. It's it's a little weird. It's a little weird. It's it's weird in a good way. We're like, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of the weird. Pinball tears. Yeah, those are fun. Those are very fun. Um, it's, it's a very fun weird. Little Fiend. Sure. He'll get wacky. Um, the Nod is rune. I could not care any less about. I mean, like... I don't know what's going on, but it's destroying the room. So I have to sit here and be like, I think it's good. Right? Oh, there's a pin in here too? It's hard to even tell what the hell's in the room and what isn't. Book of Shadows. Does this give us Bookworm? Yeah. So that's going to be good, because now even more tears are going to fly out of us. Oh, dude, this is... <laughs> we got ourselves a wacky situation. We got ourselves a wacky situation. I am going to go find the boss, um, and then we're just going... Dude, this run got really strong really fast, and I have no idea why. I mean, realistically, I know why, actually. So I probably shouldn't say I don't know why. Um, it's because we're, we're one rate of fire, and then all of the shots bounce off walls. So, basically, like, all of these shots hit, and we have Lump of Coal, so as they, like, get... Yeah, okay, I understand now. I fully understand. Um, you can suck all this up, sir. Alright, cool, thanks. And then give me an item? No, you just gave me more money back. So, a little weird, but that's fine. Strange flex, but okay. Uh, we go in. We go in. Uh, and then I'm going to tell you, Mega Satan is, is probably going to be just as easy as this was. I'm also doing crits on the enemies. I didn't even know there was a thing in Isaac. Um, don't know what item's adding that, but I'm excited to find out. I would be a complete liar if I said I did not want to take Marked on this run right now. Um, what is this weird-ass pipe? Converts red poop to normal poop. Brilliant. Uh, definitely something that if I don't take that, I don't know how I'm going to sleep at night, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll leave it there. I don't sleep anyway. Um, so, like, here's the plan. We, we go back. I don't even need any of that anymore. Uh, we go back to this room. We go into the Mega Satan fight, and then we just kind of stand here, right? You know, marked, it's, it's largely irrelevant to us. Um, also, it doesn't actually synergize with our our thing that brings us to... What the frick is this? <laughs> I can't see the screen, game. Jesus, criminy. I don't know what's going on because, like, I, I don't think that we're our tears are spinning anymore. Maybe they are. Oh, it's only if I'm holding down fire that they start spinning. That, 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 that's fine. It's not like I can really control anything going on anyway, so this is is kind of largely irrelevant. Um, good night, sir. And then I'll pop Book of Shadows just so there's like no chance of you doing anything. And uh, long run, but uh, look, it was a good one. There's no denying that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, a like on the video is much appreciated. If you're enjoying ultra modded Eden streaks, please let me know because I love seeing all your reactions to all the wacky stuff going on. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks again. I'll see you next time. You have a good one. Goodbye.